Hey everyone, this is Paul with Go Engineer. In part one of this video segment, I am going to talk about CamWorks and SOLIDWORKS CAM Material Library, what it's all about, how it relates to CamWorks and SOLIDWORKS CAM, and perform basic functions of adding or deleting a material from the active CamWorks and SOLIDWORKS CAM Material Library. The Material Library is a data source that provides machining information to the CamWorks and SOLIDWORKS CAM Technology Database. The Technology Database provides information to the CamWorks and SOLIDWORKS CAM machining environments. Important: The SOLIDWORKS Material Library is independent from the CamWorks and SOLIDWORKS CAM Material Library as it does not contain machining information. So let's jump right over into SOLIDWORKS. I have this given part here, and it's a simple tooling block. And I'm going to go through the steps of adding a SOLIDWORKS material to it, and then jump into CAMWORKS or SOLIDWORKS CAM and apply the same material as well. So over on the Material tab of the Feature Manager tree, I'm going to select Edit Material. And for this one, I'm going to assign it acrylic. Keep in mind that this is a SOLIDWORKS material that's being assigned, meaning that we have the material properties as well as the appearance. This information is useful for obtaining weight of a part or perhaps you're even going to be doing some simulation studies. Again, it's not going to be relevant to our CAMWORKS or SOLIDWORKS CAM material library. Now we're going to jump right over into the SOLIDWORKS CAM feature tree. I've already established my machining environment by assigning it its relative machine, the tool crib, the post processor, as well as defining it a fixture coordinate system. Here in the stock manager, if you notice that we have a fairly good selection of materials to choose from. However, one thing I am missing is the material for acrylic. Let's go ahead and add that. There are many different ways to access the material library of CAMWORKS and SOLIDWORKS CAM. This is just one of many ways. I'm going to go to the SOLIDWORKS CAM Command Manager, Technology Database, Feed and Speed tab, and the Feed and Speed Editor. This is going to bring up my micro-estimating material library. In the material list, you can see that we have a fairly good selection of materials to choose from. However, the one material that I am missing is acrylic. So let's go over to the Install tab, and I'll scroll down for the material acrylic. It's a matter of checking the box, then we'll click on Install New Material. And back at the material list, we now have acrylic. Once this is done, let's go ahead and close out of the material library. Since I want to verify that it's now part of the technology database, I'm going to select Update Stock Material Data. To verify that the technology database has been updated, I'm going to click on Default Stock Material and we can now see that it's been updated with the new material acrylic. Let's close out of our technology database. We're going to go into the stock manager, edit definition, navigate to our material library, and select acrylic. As a side note, if I navigate to the Operation tree and access the Roughing Parameters page, the feed and speed for acrylic is now tied to the Material Library. Another way of accessing the Material Library is to click on Library, and we can now make any edit changes if required.
If I wanted to simplify my list, it's a matter of accessing the same menus as before. So here again, I'm going to go to the Technology Database. Feed and Speed, Feed and Speed Editor, and on the Material List tab, I have no need for using the Material Wasp alloy. So it's a matter of highlighting it, click on Delete Material, verify it. close it out and as good measure we're going to update our stock material data once the technology database has been updated I'm going to verify it by selecting default stock material and just look through the list to make sure that wasp alloy is no longer in there close it out access my stock manager Edit Definition, and you can see that it is no longer part of the material list. Stay tuned for part two as I will show you how to make additional changes to the material library and how it affects your CAMWorks and SOLIDWORKS CAM environments. This is Paul with GoEngineer. Thanks for watching.